This is WVUA 23 News at 10. Thousands of Crimson Tide fans packed Bryant-Dennis Stadium for the 2016 A-Day game. We're glad to be with you tonight. I'm Jabari Pruitt. What do fans think of the team? WVUA 23's Justina Vanoob joins us live. And Justina, you spoke with some of those fans. Yep, that's absolutely right, Jabari. Fans traveled from all over Alabama to watch the Crimson Tide scrimmage. So today, I caught up with some of them to get their predictions on the upcoming season. Trying to replace the quarterback again for the third year in a row. Kind of hard to say how that's going to go. Uh, offensive line has some holes to fill, stuff like that. Defense will probably dominate. But honestly, I'd love to see Bo go beast mode. I'd love it. Alabama fan David Womack gave his thoughts on who he expects to see under center. I think Cooper Bateman. I think he's had the best. We've watched the last two uh, scrimmages, and uh, I think he's going to be the man. He just seems more polished. Uh, he makes the right decisions, and and he don't make the turnovers. And working with Lane Kiffin over the last couple of years, uh, he's ready. I believe he's ready to go. Womack also says Kiffin is able to tailor the offense around the players he has to work with. Lane Kiffin, from what I can see, he's adjusted well to the talent that he has on the field. Longtime Tide fan Candace Wilcox has never been to an A-Day game. In fact, this is her first time at Brian Denny Stadium. And she was excited to celebrate the team with her fellow fans. The biggest thing I'm expecting or getting that feel of everyone, you know, together and cheering and just feeling the whole, you know, aspect of it. And for many fans, A-Day gives them their football fix until the season starts again. We don't get football for quite a while after this, so this just gives, gives us reason to come to the stadium, be around the team, and just enjoy football for right before summer starts. Roll Tide! Roll Tide! This year, 76,000 fans attended A-Day. Reporting live tonight, Yostina Banoop, WVUA 23 News. All right, Yostina, thank you. Well, Zach Tiger was also at that game. He joins us live now. And, Zach, you were at the game, like I said. How did the team look to you? You know, they looked about how you would expect them to look for right. this time in the spring. Still not fully polished. Uh, both offenses did struggle at times. Uh, though the bright spot certainly had to be the play of quarterback Jalen Hurts. He looked really good. Led the team in passing. Uh, defensively, the depth is certainly an issue. And there were a few guys who were hurt today, of course. But overall, the defense was suffocating uh, as to be expected. The crowd wasn't quite as large as it has been in the past. You'll see, I just mentioned, over 76,000 people showed up. But Coach Nick Saban was pleased nonetheless. I do want to thank, you know, all the folks that came out today and um, supported our team. Uh, I think it was heartfelt for me and Miss Terry both 10 years ago when we were welcomed so uh, graciously here by 91,000 people and uh, to see a, a bunch of folks come out here today to support our players was really, you know, something special. We'll have more from Coach Saban uh, later on tonight, as well as highlights coming up later on in sports. I'm excited about that, Ari. Zach, thank you. We're turning our attention now to the weather. A very nice day for football. Reggie Rogues is here with a first look at that forecast. Reggie, good evening. Good evening, Jabari. Temperatures definitely warmed up once we finally got rid of those clouds earlier this morning. A couple of hours, though some areas still had a few this afternoon. Highs across state in those mid-70s, except for the few areas that had a little bit of additional cloud cover throughout the throughout the evening. We had just a couple showers later this afternoon in northern Tus Tuscaloosa County. They pushed their way out. So it made for a mostly nice day, especially for a day. Now tomorrow, it's also going to be very nice with temperatures warming up into those mid-70s. I'll have the rest of your forecast coming up in main weather. Jabari. All right, Reggie, thank you. Well, two U Tuskegee University students are recovering tonight after being shot on campus. It happened in a parking lot in front of a residence hall. Now, police are looking for a 20-year-old Tuskegee student who's also on the run. The victim's injuries are not life-threatening. That investigation continues. And at least 32 people are dead after an earthquake in Japan. The 7.0 quake happened early this morning. Now, rescue efforts continue. And Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton is endorsed by another superstar. Now, former NBA player Kareem Abdul-Jabbar endorsed the Democratic frontrunner. Now, he says this election is a choice between hell and reason. Well, I think uh, Hillary Clinton is going to do very well in New York because there's one basic advantage 
Uh, New Yorkers know Hillary Clinton. She was here for senator. We've, we've seen her work. We've seen her performance. And Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz was in the Wyoming State GOP convention today. Now, Cruz says he hopes to win the state's 14 delegates. He took time to speak about his opponents. You know, it's easy to talk about making America great again. You can even print that on a baseball cap. But the real question is, do you understand the principles and values that made America great in the first place? Now, last month, Cruz won nine delegates at the state's county conventions. In other news tonight, the most active oil companies in the area files for bankruptcy. In Mississippi and Louisiana, Goodrich Petroleum filed bankruptcy yesterday. The company has $99 million in assets and $507 million in debt. And Southeastern Grocers is taking Walmart's lead to sell only caged free eggs by 2025. The parent company of Winn-Dixie will switch all private labeled eggs to caged free producers by next year. The company says they've seen a 30 percent increase in sales of caged free eggs. And while today was a day of celebration, some used it as an opportunity to give back. WVUA 23's Yasmin Panetta joins us live now with more. Yes. Jabari, I spent my A day with one UA student who used the significant Tuscaloosa day to her advantage. Bryn Wheeler is a part of a group of public relations students whose final project involved a lot of crawfish. The Alabama Credit Union tasked us with helping children and bringing awareness to secret meals and helping as many children as we could. So we all got together, collaborated, and thought that a crawfish boil on A-Day would be a way to get the Tuscaloosa natives to kind of understand more about it and then also bring in the campus and the community of surrounding areas. Secret Meals for Hungry Children was founded by the Alabama Credit Union and is a program where teachers give food packs to kids in need. Wheeler, along with the rest of her group, sold wristbands throughout the week. All the proceeds going towards the food packs. 10% of the drink sales throughout the event also went towards the Secret Meals. The wristbands gave access to drinks, a good time, and a fan favorite. I think the biggest benefit has been the crawfish. People we spoke with say they had fun all for a good cause. It's such a great idea, especially for a college campus. It's such an easy platform and it's just, I don't see why other students wouldn't do it. Other organizations would do it for their causes. I grew up in Tuscaloosa, so like benefiting the children of Tuscaloosa is just really important and making sure that you know the community is involved, not just only with today, but like always. <laughs> Wheeler says they met their initial goal only an hour into the fundraiser. Reporting live, Yasmin Pineda, WVUA 23 News. All right, yes, thank you. In Walker County, the second annual Safe Kids Expo was held today at the Courthouse Square in Jasper. The run was free and open to the public. It included music, games, prizes, and food. And still to come on the news at 10, three families traveled with one of the world's biggest leaders. We have that story next.